Here's a look at the way too early top five going into the next college football season, Alabama and Georgia. The co-favorites to win the national championship at plus 325, followed by Ohio State at plus 700, Oklahoma at plus 1500, Texas A&M at plus 2500, Ohio State uh, going to return a bunch of guys just like Alabama and Georgia. C.J. Stroud, another set of talented receivers return to Columbus in Jackson Smith and Jigwin, and Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, Clemson will be back after a down year. D.J. Ungalale looking to make progress for the Tigers. Former Clemson defensive coordinator Brent Venables taking over at Oklahoma, replacing Lincoln Riley, who left for USC. And Texas A&M has a loaded roster as well. They've got the number one recruiting class in 2022, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings. Welcome to the host of the Late Kick, Josh Pate and Big Game Dennis Dodd, who join us from Indianapolis, site of the national championship, where Georgia takes down Alabama. Josh, aside from Alabama and Georgia, who do you like in the way too early top five to be playing for a national title next season at SoFi Stadium in L.A.? I lean heavily towards Ohio State. You know, I, Dennis, I know a lot of people are going to expect that Clemson just bounces right back. You've got to do more than that to convince me. I think there are some issues there that were more than just 2021 deep, shall we say. But Ohio State, you know, it's funny. Even though the Buckeyes lost twice, they didn't make the playoffs. Even then, you had some people whispering, you know, Ohio State would have been the tough matchup in these playoffs. Well, they didn't get it done. They didn't earn their way in. But you never know what a downturn a couple of times in 2021 could mean for a surge in 2022. You got all the important pieces back. Uh, Travion Henderson is just a sophomore next year. You got the offensive line. We don't have to worry about talent. It's just the ability to focus 12 weeks, the consistency and performance. That's really what's plagued them. You got a new look staff defensively. I'm very excited to see what they do because we've got Ryan Day a few years in now. Uh, you've certainly got the Big Ten there to be had, as it is every year for them. Uh, Ohio State is very attractive to me. Totally agree. That was my pick. Ohio State's going to be favored to win the Big Ten next year. We don't know if Jim Harbaugh is going to be back with Michigan, but even if he was, they weren't going to have the returning talent, I think, to be the favorite. They'll compete with Ohio State, but I don't think they'll beat them, and that may be a reason Jim Harbaugh leaves to begin with. He's done everything he can there, at least for one year. But Ohio State right now has the top two Heisman candidates in C.J. Stroud and in Jackson Smith and Jigba. It may not end up that way, but we saw what they did, 347 yards uh, receiving yeah. for Smith and Jigba. They've got profound defensive problems in terms of Ohio State standards. But they do have Jim Knowles, the great defensive coordinator yep. from Oklahoma State, who comes in. I think just by scheming it up, they'll be better. Um, if just they're, they're a little better. Um, they'll compete for a playoff spot. And they get, if they get that going, I think they'll be in that championship game in L.A. The important thing, Dennis, too, by the way, you mentioned there, Knowles comes in. None of us have watched Ohio State and just said, man, they don't have the players defensively. Yeah. That's the last they thing. They have players. Yeah that, yeah, that never comes out of anyone's mouth. And so I think if you want to be on one side or the other, you want to be on the side that says, if we could just get the right staff in here, you don't want to be saying, we got the right staff. We don't have the horses. They got the horses. Now they need the right staff. And it looks like Jim Knowles could be one of the most important hires in the country. Ohio State at plus 700 to win next season's national championship. Now, both Josh and Dennis, influential voices covering college football for us. Josh, I know you'd like to be college football commissioner one day, which the sport needs. What's the biggest change or what's something you'd like to see differently in college football going forward? I just breathe out, sigh when I hear that question, Dennis. Uh, it's not because I don't have an answer. It's because I have so many answers. <laughs> I'll tell you, and this is very much in the abstract, what I really wish is I wish that you know more people could see and appreciate what you and I saw this year. When you get to go on the road every year, when you get to experience what I call a renaissance season all year, there are so many things to love about the regular season of college football. And it pains me sometimes when we got we got so much focus on is the playoff going to be four or eight or 12 and you know my mentality I'm in the minority here I don't care either way I love college football's regular season now I don't know in terms of this question what you actually do to change that I just wish from sort of a grassroots perspective I could I could grab about 80 percent of the college football public by the shoulders you shake them a little bit and say hey 
we got some really cool stuff happening in September and October around here. It doesn't all have to be about whose opinion you disagree with when it comes to the way the postseason is structured. I just want the games to be the thing. And you and I together a lot this season, that's what it was. I was caught, quote unquote, in four field stormings. Yes. And it, it, was, it was a bother at the time. I was scared at Michigan. But at the end of the day, it was great. I didn't have to worry about the NCAA saying, well, if these players get NIL, people stay away from the games and they won't watch. Well, that was dumb, of yep. course. It was back to ball this year. Look at look at this place. The, we're just standing in confetti. Georgia got its first championship in 41 years. Mike Slide, the dear commissioner of the old SEC, once told me, he said, you know, what I miss mo most about the game is just watching the games. And even then, at the end of his life, that's the what was coming. You know, now we're enduring it now. But if you just sit and watch the games, they're still good. Nobody yeah. cares about it. NIL had nothing to do with what happened this season. The transfer portal had nothing to do with it. It may in the future, but the games are going to be great. And so if they just continue to be that and we forget everything else, which we can't, it'll be fine. But the games were the thing this year after COVID and everything else. I loved it. Yep. Dennis, are you out on the uh, dumping of the mayonnaise at the, the Duke Mayo Bowl? Are you out on that? Are you still in on that? Uh, if it's, as long as it's not on me, uh, I'm fine. Um. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.